every time you're going to do the upgrades you will need common parts and you will need specific parts depending on the rarity of that train and what you're going to upgrade you're going to upgrade the capacity how much does that uh, train uh, carry okay so because the first and most important thing over here is going to be this thing so you're going to need dispatchers now you're going to want to buy the permanent dispatchers so permanent dispatchers are the ones that are, are going to help you along the way At, over here you're going to have a ship tray now this thing comes every 16 hours and this captain will ask you for specific things like for example iron copper or whatever you need to fulfill his request as fast as you can that's going to be your main main problem in this game try to complete the ship trade as fast as you can in order for you to upgrade the population because from here you're going to get some ship uh, some uh, city plans and those city plans will be needed to do proper upgrades in order for you to increase the population now you do want to get the gold coins okay so at first try to send your trains in order for you to collect the gold coins that's going to be the first tip that i do want to mention welcome guys to idle games tv and we're going to check out the train station 2 now not necessarily an idle game but definitely an awesome game for the train fans so you're going to have your own station you're going to be able to increase the population over here obviously do the best that you can but the idea would be that you're going to have resources over here that you're going to be able to craft and you're going to be able to send them between different kind of locations you're going to need most probably two or three ingredients depending for uh, the upgrades that you're going to need in order for you to craft specific materials over here so you're going to need to bring one resources from one location other resources from a different location and so on you're going to have events is going to be awesome so let's jump into this game so you're going to have your main main region over here and you're going to need to play until level 800 oh my god that's huge okay so britain first 100 percent complete Germany over here I have 36% complete now you do want to get the gold coins okay so at first try to send your trains in order for you to collect the gold coins that's going to be the first tip that I do want to mention because it's going to be harder and harder for you to upgrade the trains now you're going to have trains for each specific location so not all the trains are going to move and none of the trains my bad you're going to have trains in London and trains in Germany and they do not go hand in hand so watch out where you're going to actually summon the trains if i'm saying it correctly you're going to be able to go over here in the store and you're going to be able to unlock a container now from this container you're going to be able to get a specific train now let's go with one and let me show you here it is okay a normal one a common one okay now this one is a duplicate so i'm going to sell the duplicate and i'm going to get some parts now with those parts you're going to need them because you're going to do the upgrades but one more thing to keep in mind every four hours you're going to get a free box try to get that free box every four hours and after watch an ad it will be really really helpful if you're going to watch the ad because you will get extra parts and those parts you're going to need them over here every time you're going to do the upgrades you will need common parts and you will need specific parts depending on the rarity of that train and what you're going to upgrade you're going to upgrade the capacity how much does that uh, train uh, carry okay so need to do those upgrades believe me you're going to need them now different kind of quests require you specific rarities for the train like for example over here i can only send blue ones and blue ones that have 30 capacity if i have blue ones and have capacity 29 i cannot use them over here although i will have common ones or legendary ones or epic trains and i have 30 capacity i cannot use them so you need to upgrade at least uh, one train at its maximum capacity for each specific location in order for you to fulfill those quests now one more trick that you do need to keep in mind is the fact that it will require you one hour to complete this task one hour okay so after you're going to complete the task for three minutes two minutes one minute only afterwards try to complete this long long task because you 
do not have anything to do if you're going to send your trains for one hour keep that in mind so you're going to have coal iron you're going to build 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 eventually you're going to have this thing now i do not have a common train for 40 percent capacity i do not have one so keep in mind that okay in order for me to upgrade this one i don't know what necessarily do i need to do but most probably i do not need a common one i need a train for 40 percent for 40 capacity now if you're going to go back and go over here you're going to see that uh, from here i get specific materials and from the other part i get different materials now in the first location i need only two minutes uh, or 30 seconds to get specific materials over here i need five minutes so most probably on the next location it will be even harder if you have paid attention further drop a comment let us know how much it will take but you will need to send specific materials to do all the proper upgrades and you're going to have enough level like for example order over here level 40 to unlock usa okay quite quite a lot but how can i go over there is by completing different kind of tasks even over here in the event now the event is pretty decent and in the event what you're going to need to do you're going to need to choose between these four emblems over here you're going to need to choose a side now depending on the side you're going to be able to win or not and only one side win in this event so if you're going to go with the horse let's say okay now if you're going to go with the horse and all of the guys that have chosen the horse do the best they can and you if at the end of the event the horse will have the highest amount of points all the ones from that specific uh, let's say guild if i'm saying it correctly will win prizes if not you will not win anything so no prizes for the second place or for the third place and so on now over here in this event keep in mind you're going to have basic materials that you're going to be able to store now you're going to have a big problem with the storage part with the warehouse so keep that in mind you're going to need to try to upgrade as fast as you can now in order for you to upgrade it you're going to need a lot a lot of population and how exactly are you going to be able to have population you're going to need to do the upgrades over here in the city every time you're going to have a building that you will be able to buy it with uh, for example uh, uh, some uh, materials try to use it okay now over here you're also going to need specific uh, materials but also some city plans now over here you're going to have a ship trade now this thing comes every 16 hours and this captain will ask you for specific things like for example iron copper or whatever you need to fulfill his request as fast as you can that's going to be your main main problem in this game try to complete the ship trade as fast as you can in order for you to upgrade the population because from here you're going to get some ship plan uh, some uh, city plans and those city plans will be needed to do proper upgrades in order for you to increase the population and after you're going to have enough population you're going to be able to upgrade the warehouse so please try to focus on these ship trades okay now afterwards after you're going to do that you're going to want to focus on what uh, one most probably this is the second thing that you're going to want to focus my bad because the first and most important thing over here is going to be this thing so you're going to need dispatchers now you're going to want to buy the permanent dispatchers so permanent dispatchers are the ones that are, are going to help you along the way at first when you're going to start you're going to have only three afterwards you're going to have the option to watch an ad and for the next one hour you can borrow one dispatcher but you will also have the option to buy one extra permanent dispatcher on level 16 if i'm not mistaken and over here on level 26 try to fulfill those as fast as you can don't buy them with gems at least the first one don't buy it with gems it's not worth it the amount of materials that are required for him are really really low so don't buy the permanent dispatcher at level the first one with gems okay the second one or the third one okay but the first one don't go with it now don't forget over here about the free box every four hours also watch the ad and also you will have another ad over here in daily offers try to look on that as well and 
if not try to buy over here some parts because you're going to need parts okay quite quite a lot of parts but don't consume gold coins because you're also going to consume uh, need gold coins my bad now specific buildings over here are required a specific level so you cannot unlock this union over here until i'm level 25 so it's going to take a while until you're going to be able to do that now the one the materials that you're going to get from the from the event you're going to come over here and you're going to build them over here as you can see if you're going to watch it they're going to tell you what exactly they need in order for do for them to actually work that thing out now right now i'm going to go into the event and i can send my specific trains to deliver specific materials but here it is uh, the epic one delivers 22 the last one 6664 i will not fulfill that 48 per, uh, 48 number but it doesn't matter i still need to do more and more upgrades so keep in mind if you're going to get stuck in this uh, in the second location in the third one or whatever try to go and complete as much as you can in the events the events will help you quite a lot here it is i'm going to send this one over here 12 i know that i have you over here 19 oh i do not have iron now here is what i'm going to do i have two trains that are stuck okay and i need iron for this guy to finish it so i'm going to go in the first location and in the first location i will have eventually a steel factory now i can actually craft steel but i have a factory for it so why bother now i need to wait two and a half minutes i will get that steel afterwards i will deliver it to that specific guy now guys it's a simple simple game but definitely if you're a fan of trains you need to give this game a try try to get those dispatchers as fast as you can and afterwards try to compete those uh, ship trades and the 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 one that the captain asks you every 16 hours and you will have up to four hours to fulfill them okay try to complete this as fast as you can when you're going to have it it's going to be really really important for you and it's going to help you quite a lot every time you're going to see the whistles try to click on them you will get different kind of offers you will see eventually different kind of trains every time you're going to upgrade over here you're going to need a specific amount of time for it to be upgraded uh, here it is like for example for this one i need steel and it's quite quite easy for me to get the steel so try to do the upgrades if you can in order for you to get the population one plus one plus one will add up and eventually you will have enough for you to do the proper upgrades keep that in mind now if you're paid attention further drop a comment let me know in the comments below how far did you end until next time take care and be safe bye